Hey guys, it's me. So today I'm here on a special request from my friend Tess, who's just got some water decals and she was looking for some tips on how to use them. So let's just jump right in. There's two kinds of water decals that you can get. The ones that just have the little individual um, designs or the full cover nail ones. Um, both of them will come with a little plastic film. I like to take this off and just spin it because I once tried to use them with the plastic film on. I couldn't see that it was on and it was an absolute nightmare. So once you get the plastic film off, you are going to want to cut your design. I've got this nail painted for these ones. I thought that color would go really nicely with that. That's the gel bottle fluffy cotton. Yeah. I've got little numbers on them so I can tell which is which. Um, but that's fluffy cotton from the job oil. So decide which one you want to put on. I think probably that one will look nice. And then you just need to cut it out. And stick it in some water. So I have a little triangle here. Typically used for mixing glitter or picking up gems or things. So I'm just gonna submerge that into the water and leave it, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. And then when it's done, you should be able to just slide the design off of the paper backing. I've also seen somebody use a jelly stamper to pick them up, but she used a spray bottle to spray them. She laid them out on the paper towel and then she sprayed them with water and then she just picked them up. But I don't have a spray bottle for water. So you can just check that it's going to slide away easy. And I can see that it's coming off already. So I'll just dry that off. And I'm using these tweezers to just pick up one corner of it. And then you have it. So you could dry it off on a piece of paper towel. If you put it on when it's wet, that's going to cause all kinds of problems. Sometimes I also just dry it off in the back of my hand because then I can see if there's any water on it. So this has got a tacky finish because it's not been top coated or anything. It's just cured gel polish. So you just want to lay it on there and it's going to stick where you put it. Like that. Once it's on, you can go straight in with a top coat if you like. But I always, if I put anything on the nail, like glitter, decals, stickers, uh, striping tape, or anything, I always put a rubber base coat over top first, just to make sure that it's actually going to stay, because you never know with these things. So the full back water decals are a bit different, because it's going to cover the whole nail, hopefully. Um, you can see if somebody had really long nails, you wouldn't be able to cover the whole nail with this. But for a short nail, this is going to work good. But always try and paint the nail the same color as the decal. Well, let's take that plastic off. See? Get ah oh, off me. Okay. Let's do this one. So you can see they're different sizes as well. This one's the biggest and that one's the smallest. Obviously this is going to be for the thumb and that's going to be for the pinky. So let's get this one. I'm going to try and cut it. These are curved scissors so this might be tricky. Try and cut it right along where it finishes. Now I think I'll try it with the jelly stamper this time because I've never done that. And I'm really quite intrigued as to how it's going to work. Get in there. Get wet. So we'll leave that just for a couple seconds. It's very early in the morning. Well, it's about nine o'clock. So I'm going to cover this up with a base coat while we're waiting for that. I like decals. They're very handy if you're in a salon or if you're finding that nail art is taking a long time and you aren't making um, enough per hour because you're spending too much time painting designs, 
decals are a very good solution to that problem. You can also get little stickers that just stick on without having to be in water. I like those too. Um, and I got these from Funky Sugar Glitter Mixes. She sent me some for Halloween, which is why the Halloween design. Um, these ones I got from her earlier in the year, but I thought that's a good addition to my autumn nail art. So let's just check. This is ready. I'm just going to try and slide it off with a dotting tool. Doesn't seem like it's... Oh! Yeah, it's sort of come away there. Okay. Let's do this. I'm just... Oh dear. Come on. I'm going to set it down here. And then have my jelly stamper. And so what Faye did was she just picked it up. So let's... Ha! Wow! That's super cool. So I thought this was going to be white around the edges, but it's not. It's clear. Sometimes they are white. So it's going to be wet there. Faye did it on the paper towel, so I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so that should be dry. And then you're just going to stick it on the nail. Here we go. I think I'll try and put it right close to the bottom because that area is black on the decal. And because the nail is sticky, it should just stay. Great. That worked really well. Make sure that all your sides are covered. Any of these little wrinkles you're going to want to smooth out. Now, when you do this on an actual nail, it'll probably overhang on the cuticle rather than just hang on to that. So what you can do, because these are just made of a thin film, get a little brush, I choose you, and some acetone. I only have it in this squeezy thing. Well, that brush is filthy as well. Great job, Courtney. Let me just clean my brush. Honestly, sometimes I think I'm the most unorganized nail tech. I always forget to clean my brushes and things before I put them away. Anyways, so when you get your brush with a little bit of acetone on it, just go around the edges of the cuticle and it will dissolve the decal. If you flood it, it's going to remove bits that you don't want to remove. So make sure you don't have too much acetone on your brush, but you're just literally going to be going along the cuticle like this to try and remove whatever is hanging over the sides. So again, I would go in with a rubber base coat or a rubber top coat and just make sure that the whole thing is covered, especially any areas that aren't to the edge of the nail, because that will be the first place that you find lifting. So get that all covered with your rubber, <laughs> rubber base coat, and then pop it in the light to cure it, and then you can put some top coat on, and then that is going to be done. So as you can see, decals are a great alternative to hand painting. I use them quite often, and you can layer them up. You could put more of the flowers on this, you could hand paint a couple little swirly things or add some glitter. How are we doing here? Nine minutes. Yeah, I'll cut this video short. But you could add some glitter, make it a little whimsical. And that's it. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any other questions about water decals or stickers, give me a shout in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.